When there's something strange in your neighborhood, who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. Nice. That was pretty good, dude. Thank you, man. All right. It's here. The, the ultimate nostalgia fest for us. Yeah. Movies that we just saw in the past two months. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, if you're new around here, we just watched the Ghostbusters 1 and 2 very recently. Oh, yeah, Ghost Core. You know, like that's like the company because they're trying to make the universe of the oh. Ghostbusters. It, they did that with um, the 2016 Ghostbusters too. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh shit. Okay, that looks like classic Ghostbusters. The colors. Yeah. Man, gates in movies just get a bad rep, don't they? Just yeah. Always get ripped through. Always get torn up. <laughs> Wait, who is that? I don't know. But I bet it's a familiar face driving it, though. Oh, is that supposed to be, uh... Egon? E Egon? Yeah, that's where my brain went, too. Holy shit. Oh, is this how, like, Egon died? Because I know Egon is apparently dead in this movie. Yeah, because Harold Ramis is no longer with us. Oh, that is Egon. That's 100% supposed to be Egon. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, I could just tell from the hair and the beard. Yeah, yeah. Just the face structure. He's got some majestic hair. Oh yeah, that that's one hundred and ten percent Egon. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Right when you see the fucking yeah, hair, you're like no one has hair like that. Oh shit, what is this? Oh, oh, it's like it's invisible. Like yeah, it's, uh... what we got. Oh, oh shit! Dude, the power went out. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, the good old. I forgot the name of that device. I'm yeah. sorry, guys. I'm a new fan. <laughs> <laughs> We're both new fans. Yeah, go easy on us, please. Okay, now he's just waiting. Ooh. Okay. That's creepy. Oh shit. Oh, is that one of the, like the the monsters from one of the older older movies? Oh shoot. Oh, oh it's like the Sigourney Weaver. That's exactly what that was. It's yeah, what happened to Sigourney Weaver in the first movie. Okay. Oh, he died. Okay, so they straight up killed him off. They killed off Egon. Oh, is this is his ghost? Oh, there? that has and to be his ghost, him? yeah. Oh, so this is like the most calm opening credits. Normally, it leads into like, du -du 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 you know. Yeah, it's it's a it's a very different style. <laughs> ah, Finn Wolfhard. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> the most overused t a teen actor in Hollywood. <laughs> what are you doing? Neighbors' electricity is running out of phase, so I tied in and run this up to two twenty. Okay, so that's Egon's daughter. One hundred. It's got to be his granddaughter. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. You bring a lottery? Kind of. My father died. Relax, I didn't even know. Okay, so that's Egon's daughter. Yeah. yeah. She's not, she doesn't have an aptitude for science, but her granddaughter does. Got it. I wait for you to leave, then I change locks. Dang. <laughs> so she's kicked out of the, the house, essentially. Damn, straight up. Yeah. Interesting. Being, being okay. evicted. So we're like out in the middle of nowhere. That's so interesting. Yeah, a whole different aesthetic for a Ghostbusters movie. Not set in New York, first of all. Yeah. Which is completely different. Yeah. Somerville in this case. Come on, a single bar? Okay, so Finn Wolfhard doesn't give a fuck about who his grandfather was. Yeah, he's about the internet. <laughs> Not a single bar. This movie's made by boomers. <laughs> yeah. This is 100% where Egon would live, though. Look at all those oh, satellites. That's like, yeah, that's totally a house he would own. That's funny. That's cool. They're paying like homage to his character, at least. I mean, especially that it's his granddaughter. Totally. I feel like this movie's going to have a lot to do with that kind of thing. Uh, totally, totally. Oh... Single photo? I bet they're gonna find like the ecto the gear. old gear. Yeah. The old gear is probably gonna be in the garage or some shit. Oh my god! Oh, look at those the stack of books. It's from the first movie. That that is a cool it's homage. It's a cute little cute little nod. Can I help you? Uh, <laughs> it's the <a> secretary. <laughs> it's Janine. It's Janine. This is my father's place. I, I was your father's. Uh, we I was your father's shorty. Yeah. <laughs> so he left us nothing. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> There's money you owe. <laughs> Are you telling me this place is worthless? You mean aside from the sentimental value? <laughs> nice. That was like to the audience, wasn't it? <laughs> right. It's, like, uh, it's not worthless. We have lives, you know. You don't think I have a life? No. You're mom. You live for us. Jesus. <laughs> what he knows what's up. <laughs> Again, what a little shit. <laughs> He's an angsty boy, you know. Oh. Ah. Don't fall in love with roller skating girls, man. Hey. <laughs> like I have experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no one is your father. Well, I'm sure he'll be missed. Nope. If he 
Egon was alone, I wonder if he had a falling through with the other Ghostbusters or some shit. Oh, ghost. Oh, shit! The chessboard. Oh, I didn't even notice that yeah. for a second. I would not bother reassembling it if that happened. But I love how she sets it up right at their perfect places, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they, a ghost moved the chess piece. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Play chess? I had a feeling when she said chess right there, I was like, is she gonna play chess with the ghost? Yeah. At school today, don't be afraid to just start a conversation. Are you kidding me? That's horrible. Like <laughs> <laughs> don't just improvise. Don't just tell her to wing it. Okay, you drop me here. Uh, what are you embarrassed? Yeah, fine. Uh, so is, is Finn Wolfhard's role is to just be negative to his own family? <laughs> you know what? I guess so. <laughs> She's so Egon. Yeah. And I'm fine with that. Like, that's yeah, cool. they're leaning into it heavily. Yeah. Oh, oh there's our boy Paul Rudd. America's sweetheart. Most of the kids that go here, they're not very bright. Hey, Colin. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what a good, like, he's such a teacher. Oh, yeah, yeah. I found this gem in the teacher's lounge. It's great. It's called Cujo. Cujo. <laughs> that's a Stephen King book they made a movie on. Oh, okay. She sits alone. Oh, no. An oh no, do we have a podcast character in this movie? But what is your secret? I don't know wait, what gave away podcast. He has a mic and headphones. I'm Phoebe. Oh, cool. Uh, and podcast. Oh, his name's podcast. <laughs> you fucking called that. Oh, I was like, literally in my head, I was like, ah, oh, you're being cynical. But his <laughs> name, like, <laughs> his name is podcast. That's fucking hilarious. You're a seismologist? Seems so hard to believe. Yeah, because you look like Paul Rudd. <laughs> <laughs> You're gorgeous. This is a tectonic earthquake known as Little P Wave. Yeah, I'm not an idiot. <laughs> She's just like, okay, like, yeah, no. Well, Don't mansplain to me. <laughs> what a fucking earthquake. Like, I discovered this is a seismograph. I just thought you were being obtuse. Did <laughs> she just wink? <laughs> yeah. Was that a geometry joke? Yes, that's why I winked. Okay. What? She's like just maximum Egon. <laughs> you know, yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, no skills. How's it oh, hey. No skills. That's a no very skills. lazy that's nickname. <laughs> yeah, that's not a very good roast. What do you call a dead polar bear? Anything you want. It can't hear you now. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I actually like that joke. That's a very good joke. It, um, can't, it can't hear you now. It's like a good anti joke. <laughs> I do, you know what, the aesthetic of this movie has kind of grown on me. At first I was kind of against it just because I'm like so used to the New York feeling. Yeah, of it's not movies. bad, yeah. How do you make a steel beam out of an electroconductor like selenium? Yeah, how fucking smart are these kids? I know, seriously. <laughs> uh, good old Ecto-1. It's fucked up, damn. Yeah, that's a, that's a trashy car right now. Oh, is Finn Wolfhard going to be working on it? I kind of don't see the point of this character right now. Yeah. I was like, I feel like he shouldn't be in the movie. <laughs> I know, I hope he kicks in later. Wait, does he keep the... Oh, he keeps his podcast on a USB drive? <laughs> oh man, this kid has my heart. <laughs> yeah, but my question is like, where like, where are the other Ghostbusters? You know, where's Dan Aykroyd, what are Venkman, yeah. what are they doing, you know? Yeah, they all went their separate ways. Oh, how's the chess game going? Oh, shoot. <laughs> I love how she just accepted, okay, someone's playing chess, I don't know who, but I'm gonna keep playing. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I mean, you can't resist that you know <laughs> yeah she's just curious it's kind of great oh shit oh it's just straight up moving in front of her now. i bet you know what i bet that this was practical they'd use a magnet or some shit oh 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 shit oh she's gonna d discover the proton pack oh yeah 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 oh, okay oh he made it a little puzzle of course <laughs> he fucking did <laughs> Yeah, they really, like, leaned into, like, what his character was. I really like that. Yeah. They're like, okay, Egon would make a puzzle to hide the thing. The whole city was freaking out. And then these physicists showed up with these portable proton accelerators. It's like a grown-ass man is, like, actually showing them the movie Ghostbusters. Like, yeah, this, this is really cool. <laughs> yeah, you're right? It feels like a dad showing his son Ghostbusters. Yeah, exactly. Oh, this is such a summer school teacher. Yeah. <laughs> He's just like, I got no other shit to do. Yeah. Science is giving yourself the plague and gambling on the cure. Safety pin through the nipple of academia. What a line. Yeah. Safety pin through the nipple of academia. Only Paul Rudd could deliver and make it sound cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, God. Okay. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, okay. they just let it loose. All right. Holy shit. He's going back to the mountain where the opening scene started. But the distinct smell of evil 
Okay, this is creepy now that Paul Rudd's just hanging out with these two kids, and now he's at their house. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a little creepy. <laughs> yeah. I think he's just really up into the Ghostbusters, so he's, he's uh, like, oh, really, like, once he's putting it together, he wants whoa. to get involved. It's actually got a really horrifying sound. Jesus, okay. Oh, God. Why did it keep blowing on it for so long? Is that some kid <laughs> shit? <laughs> That's some very kid shit. I would do the same thing. Until someone yells at them to stop. The only thing lurking inside here is my slowly dying soul. Nice. Is that what that smell is? <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That's a good delivery, yeah. The souls of the dead are ruled by a mighty god, Gozer. Okay, Gozer, so it is Gozer, yeah. We're heading up the mountain. Again. Yeah, he really isn't the... I, he I, has nothing to do in this movie, I he? hate the shit on Finn Wolfhard, cause, but I'm like, you can easily cut him out. Yeah. Oh, and now is it going to be teenagers getting up into trouble in that, like, mine place? I bet they're going to come across something ghostly and it'll cross into the main story. I hope, at least. I hope it just doesn't cut, like, the B stories, him trying weed for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I know. What? Rivers are the moms of canyons? Yeah, that is a weird... Teenage what? thing to say. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> but I can so see a teenager just saying some dumb shit like that. He's like, no, if you really think about it. Nah, dude. <laughs> I just don't give a shit about this. I'm sorry. Oh, man, I I'm know. sorry. I don't mean to be rude. I just. <laughs> Oh, oh shit! So they're using the same demons from the original Ghostbusters. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh shit. wow! These ghosts are like very fast moving. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, fuck that. <laughs> it's disturbing when your teacher starts hitting on your fucking mom. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. It's just the framing of it is kind of funny. Oh, the fire pole. Oh, uh, that's. Cool. I see you, movie. Oh shit. Oh, a secret layer? Ah, the outfits. Okay. Uh, the crunch bar. That's sweet. Because that's from the first movie. That has to be gross. <laughs> yeah, that's disgusting. Oh my god, his glasses. Yeah, wow. I hope, I don't, I don't know this, if it's confirmed or not, but I hope Rick Moranis is in this movie. Somewhere. Dude, I know, me too, man. I really hope I so. I doubt he is. I think he's, I'm pretty sure he's retired now. I'm back for this movie. Oh shit. Wait, so, is it Egon's ghost? Oh! Because she said two of the CRTs meeting and immediately the drawer opens. Yeah, something And yeah. then playing the chess? Yeah, it feels like, like, you know how like, right when he died was taken by the chair thing? Right, and the ghost is like helping her like find the shit. Yeah, interesting, okay. It might be Egon's ghost. trying to lead her around. <laughs> I, bet, I bet people were like, are watching this and like, yeah, no shit, we picked that up like 20 minutes ago. You or any of your family ever seen a spook, specter, or ghost? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, their commercial's so good. Yeah. It's so awkward, but it's perfect. Kind of scientist was grandpa. The kind that repels loved ones. Jesus. Jesus Christ, man. He's Gary. Mr. Gruberson. Oh. His name is Gary Gruberson. I was about to say. Yeah, that's a rough name. You have a date with Gary Gruberson. <laughs> yeah, but not only is his name... But ridiculous. dude, just think about how much that sucks. Your summer school teacher you thought was cool is now fucking boning your mom. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> if I had to pick anyone to bone my mom, it'd probably be Paul Rudd. You know what I mean? Fair enough. Yeah. I kind of met my grandfather last night. No way. I love how he just accepts it, though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ooh, look at that sound. It's so heavy. You can feel how heavy it is. Yeah, I like that, actually. I oh, yeah. God damn. Uh, that shit still looks cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's so powerful. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, that. Ooh. Is it going to be Slimer, you think? We might. Oh, it might be Slimer. I feel I like hope, that's going to be the first. I hope it's Slimer. That'd be fucking awesome. Oh, shit. That's ghostly. Oh. Wait, what the fuck is that? Is that a blue that Slimer? Oh. oh, weird. What is that? It's a weird looking ghost. I dig it though. Yeah. I love the look of it. <laughs> well, she's just ready to shoot at it. Well, she doesn't shoot. It's a ghost, so she's just like, fuck it, I'm gonna shoot at it. Yeah. I get it. Oh, shoot. Oh. Okay. She lost it. Meanwhile. <laughs> Alright, back to hard. <laughs> Back okay. to this fucking guy. I mean, he is fixing up the car. I'll give it that. That's his whole purpose, I feel like. That's yeah. his contribution to the story. Oh, so is he going to be like the driver or some shit? He, probably, yeah. Oh, oh Egon. Egon. Egon's, Egon's helping start it. 
That's kind of cool, though. Yeah. Is he just going on a joyride in the Ecto-1? <laughs> Hell yeah, man, I would. Oh, that's pretty fucking cool. That does look kind of cool. You showed up. You win. That's not all it takes. There's more to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's more than just showing up. I will say this plotline is the only one that I'm really invested in. What? The Phoebe. Oh, the oh, movie. obviously. Like every time it cuts to the mom and Finn Wolfhard, no, 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 no. Kinda like Phoebe should be the whole movie. Yeah. Oh, so it's, there was Slimer. Now this is Muncher. Oh, okay. Ah. Uh, I hope Slimer comes back. I do. Can you stop breathing in my ear? No. <laughs> Podcast, I feel you on that, man. As a heavy breather myself. <laughs> oh, God, it's just out in public. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. It has a gunner seat? That's really cool. Oh, that's pretty badass. <laughs> it's a cute little, little guy. He's like a giant caterpillar. <laughs> Oh, it washed the car. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's clever. That's very clever. Yeah, I was gonna say that's real dangerous to shoot at. <laughs> it's like just to rip the city apart. I know. <laughs> I do like the idea of like a Ghostbusters car chase though. Yeah. And I'm surprised we didn't get that before. Ooh, wow. That's actually that's this is shot really well. Yeah. Oh, she got Ooh, it. Got him. Okay. That's cool that they kind of made the Ecto-1 like a Batmobile. Yeah. <laughs> it has all these like little <laughs> tricks and gadgets. Stuff they probably couldn't do that much back in the day, you know? Yeah. Ooh, this is really well done. Yeah, this is fun. I'm liking this. So is Finn Wolfhard supposed to be like young Bankman or something like that? Is that there what they're kind of going for? I think so. And then... And then Podcast, podcast is Ray. Yeah. Oh shit, nice. Wow, that looks like the Close Encounters like mountain. I wonder Was if it? that was like, inspired by Close Encounters. No, maybe. I haven't seen it. Oh shit, I forget. Does any of this bother We should you? comment we should watch Close Encounters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. No, 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 no. We're strict. We're so strict. <laughs> the ecto getting pulled over. <laughs> I know. Like, oh, they're full on in jail? <laughs> I guess so. Podcast is like shit. I'm in jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, that's fucking Yoda. Yeah, that's Yoda. Yeah, I guess so. Podcast is like shit. I'm in jail. Dude, that's fucking you. That's that's so you and that's upsetting. Alright. Alright. <laughs> I can't tell if I like that or not. I I do not. I can tell you right now. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think I like that. That's not right. <laughs> God, I thought this movie was better than that. <laughs> oh, she's gonna call the Ghostbusters. Okay, it's obviously not good. They're not functioning, so it's gonna lead. It's gonna be one of their voicemails. I bet, like, Bill Murray's gonna yeah, answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Revelation C. Oh, shoot! Oh. They're just straight up showing him. Dang, Dan Aykroyd. It is nice to see you again. Oh, it's so sweet to see yeah. Ray. Are you Ray Stans, the Ghostbuster? Uh, no, I'm hanging up. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, nope. Calling about Egon Spangler. Egon Spangler can rock in hell. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Not Ray and Egon. <laughs> yeah, they're falling out. Some actor bought up most of Tribeca and we lost the firehouse. It's a Starbucks now. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> so then it got gentrified. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Egon saw something bigger. Yeah. 16 ounces of fuel isotope, all gone. Oh, so he stole their shit and ran away. Take a little advice. Don't go chasing ghosts. Aww. Ray. Not Ray. Yeah, no, Ray of all people. My energy with this movie like came up so much seeing Ray. Oh, I know. Because I see, was like trying to kind of chug along, you know. <laughs> once you see, once you see this guy's face, you can't. Yeah, I'm like, oh, Ray. <laughs> but they are the first to destroy half of Main Street or whatever the hell that thing is. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, Paul Rudd's all into it. He's like, they put him in this movie to be like the fandom. I think he was a sad old man who turned his back on his family. Okay, so he, he straight up ditched his family too, yeah. along with the Ghostbusters. Walmart! <laughs> we know who paid for this movie. I know, right? God. Oh God, I already hate this. This so Look how empty that Walmart is. <laughs> Baskin Robbins. We know what this movie <laughs> sponsors. Oh. I mean, again, to be fair, the old movies had a lot of sponsors too. But not this like crazy. Maybe, maybe, yeah, yeah. Uh, is it gonna be like the puffed marshmallow man? Of course. Uh, is it gonna be a little baby, Mister Stay Puffed? It's a cute little thing. Yeah, it's like baby Groot. It's cute when it's this big, not hundred feet. 
Oh, they're clearly trying to sell a toy here. I don't. I'm sorry. I'm going to be cynical, <laughs> but this is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh shit! Oh, shit! Oh, it's going to be a shit ton of them. Oh. This feels pretty Ghostbusters. -y. It's roasting itself. Oh god, that's dark. They're making s'mores into like out of themselves. <laughs> Who's going to eat those? What? <laughs> it's, it's like getting a warm blanket. It's, it's like oh, nice. it's all nice. Yeah. <laughs> Oh shit, oh! Oh, we got the, the the demon dog thing. Is it gonna take him over? Cause I'll be pretty excited if it takes him over. That'd be pretty fun. Like, I'll be down for that. I don't know. Is that practical though? I think that's practical. It looks like it though, right? Respect. That's gotta be practical. Wow. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I really like that. I'm like genuinely like, <laughs> it, like surprised and impressed they did that. Right, so I did some digging on the word you heard in the mountain. Some this does feel like a yeah, Ghostbusters movie time. now. Like it's kind of playing out, you know, where they're laying out like the the mythology. Oh yeah. Ghost. It's just setting it in an old town, like a very like a rural area. Yeah. What is that? I've never seen that. Oh. oh, is that Zool? That's supposed to be Zool. Is that Zool? Yeah, look, it's, it looks like her and everything. It looks oh, like... Zool's like the the, the white lady, mm -hmm. like the pale white lady. Yes. I think these are years. Okay. 1945. It's gonna lead to the current year, I bet. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I like that. It's a countdown, like a prophecy. So Egon knew about that, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I still don't understand why Egon like left. You know what I mean? I guess we'll, yeah, we'll find out. Oh God, where are those like, like you could see like people reaching out of it. Yeah. Oh, oh shit! It's like a booby-trapped proton pack. Oh, Egon set it up. Yeah. I'm assuming Egon set it up. Yeah, Phoebe, get back. <laughs> Phoebe, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, those are all people. Yeah. Oh, what? The, whoa. Dude. Is that J.K. Simmons? I don't know. I didn't get a good look. I don't know. That might be J.K. Simmons. You think so? I don't know. <laughs> he sacrificed everything. His life. Oh, so he had to leave to make sure, like, to just keep track with all that shit. Yeah. Oh, is mom going to find dad? Interesting, okay. Yeah. I wonder if mom's gonna interact with dad. Okay, so she's finding- Oh, you can see the headgear on the bottom left. Oh shit, yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, his dad lit the photo frame. Look, I kept a photo around. Yeah. I know I, I mean, left- I know I left you guys, but I had a photo. But if I really missed you, it makes me better. Oh, so he like kept tabs on her. Yeah. The whole time. Like though. newspaper like clippings. Like he wanted to know she was doing okay. Oh, what the hell? Oh, shit! Oh, are they both gonna be possessed? Paul Rudd and her? Like, in the... Mom? Oh, damn. The mom's possessed. <laughs> oh, imagine if your mom... That happened to your mom, dude. Yeah. That is creepy. <laughs> Mom? Oh, that's fucking creepy. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. The key master. Paul Rudd took out his sleeves for this one. <laughs> I'm just, we, we just need a, the Marshmallow Man, and then it'll basically be the same third act as the first movie. Basically, <laughs> yeah. We got a sky beam. Oh, shoot. <laughs> she just yeeted out the window. <laughs> oh, Egon set this, built this whole thing as a one big trap. That's clever. That's, that's very Egon. Yeah. Are they just going to put it on? Why? Why are they putting it on? Why are they putting it on? It's the movie. No, 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 but why are they putting <laughs> it on? It makes literally no fucking sense. They didn't put it on anywhere. They're just like, oh, it's the third act of the movie. <laughs> oh, yeah, they got to fuck. I forget about that. Oh, become, they do, huh? Yeah. yeah. They ca oh, God. Okay. I like that they're keep staying, like, true to the original. But they're not, like, fucking with the lore and, like, overdoing it with CGI. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's I'm not just, a fan it, of them wearing the Ghostbusters. Isn't that because <laughs> it's just it made literally no sense it's, for them to put it yeah, on. It's cute, but they did not it did they did not build it up. It'd be cool if only she Phoebe's put it on. Mm -hmm. Cause that would make sense of her trying to channel Egon, you know what I mean? Sure. Oh, he's gonna use the, the RC to do something. <laughs> oh shit! Slime! Oh no, that's Muncher. Yeah, Muncher. Oh, they're gonna have Munch rip it open. Okay. That's smart. Okay, I'll go on record to say this, but I love Muncher. You like M Muncher? I'm a big fan. Yeah. <laughs> They're gonna do the weird little shimmy. Releasing all the ghosts. Oh, is that Zool? Yeah. Okay, so they just straight up... Well, yeah, I, I'm assuming no. they were gonna do it. Yeah, yeah. I know. I, I didn't expect just straight up her to come back. 
built this temple for you. Is that Olivia Wilde? So it's J.K. Simmons! That is J.K. Simmons! Oh! oh. That's Olivia Wilde. That is has that? to be Olivia Wilde. Are you yeah. sure? I'm 90% sure. I, I know that jawline anywhere. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like that. I like that. That's a pretty a good great one. great dad joke. This, this actress is really good. Yeah, she's great. I like her. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh. Oh, shit. Where's Paul Rudd? Yeah, they left Paul Rudd behind. No. Oh, the got destroyed. Okay, so they, they didn't save Gary. That's why they left Paul Rudd behind. So Gary Gruberson's still in there. Got it. Holy shit, that's pretty cool. <laughs> She's becoming a badass. You're, you're a scientist. That's pretty cool. That's a good line. Yeah. I like her. I like her a lot, yeah, actually. Yeah, she's a really good character. Oh, shoot. Oh, damn. So Zul's without a body right now, essentially. It's like just just this essence. So that's what was attacking Egon in the beginning. Oh yeah, maybe, huh? She's yeah. doing what Egon did. Yeah. Oh yeah, pulling the lever. But it didn't work last time, remember? Yeah. Who invited you? Okay. <laughs> you are so unimportant. <laughs> okay, so all of them are working together. Uh -huh. Why are these things here? Yeah, I think they came out of nowhere, didn't they? Oh shit. The big fucking trap. Yeah. Oh, it powered out again. Oh shit. She's gonna break the trap. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, oh. Is it possessing the girl? Yeah. No, not Lucky. <laughs> I know, I'm not Lucky. <laughs> My favorite character. Oh, uh, Zul's gonna come back to life. I guess so, yeah. Gotta see Olivia Wilde again. She got a paycheck, you know what I mean? Yeah, they gotta give her some screen time. <laughs> oh no. Hey, flat <gasps> Oh shit! Oh, Winston's there too! <laughs> oh man, oh, Winston's back, shit! Yeah. <laughs> the name of the county is Somerville, State of Oklahoma, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. <laughs> oh. The God, they're so old now! <laughs> they're pretty old. Are you... Oh, that's what she asked them in the first movie. I thought that we had busted up for good. They put the background music I from... Know. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. The people who grew up with this movie probably, like, shat their heads. Yeah, this must have been pretty special. Yeah. Oh, 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 they're, they're shit. crossing the streams again like they did in the first movie. Yeah. Because that was the trick, I forgot. So, I, yeah, I wonder if we're going to get to see, like, Egon. <laughs> no. no, they're just old. They're just really fucking old. We're finished. Ooh. I don't even know how they got here so fast or what they- like. If they but who cares? Yeah, I'm fine with it. Whatever. <laughs> oh, she's gonna try to kill it, do it herself. I like that. Yeah. I was gonna say, if Phoebe, Phoebe's just watching, that's kind of lame. Yeah, that would be lame if they just took over. Oh, is ghost- is the ghost gonna help her? Oh, you're talking about Egon's ghost? I feel like Egon's ghost is just- you're gonna see- uh, yeah. Oh. Oh shit! Oh wait! Oh, don't tell me they're doing. Oh, that's sweet. Oh my god! Oh wow! Oh, that looks really good. Dang! That looks exactly like him. Oh, oh he's with them. That's, that's really that's cool. I like that a lot. And his hair looks fantastic. And Winston, hair... Winston's like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. All of them are like, oh shit. Oh, it's pulling all the ghosts back in. That's crazy seeing Harold Ramis. Yeah. That's wild how that's some good CGI. I'm assuming he's not gonna talk. I thought you'd march her though. Oh, look at Dan Aykroyd. Oh yeah, he's a mess. I didn't believe you. I like how they didn't make him say anything though. That, that'd be weird. Yeah, they gave him like very okay. robotic dialogue. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for pitching in. We're gonna have Coco inside. You know how much I love Vanko. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like just hearing him run. Oh, hey, they do oh. dig him out. Oh, oh, that's sad. I wonder if Paul Rudd got to shoot with them. I hope he did. <laughs> he probably didn't get to shoot with them. That's true, huh? You just single handedly defeated a manifestation. <laughs> He's the Ray, yeah. yeah. Mystical tells the unknown universe. MTW. 
you. That's you. <laughs> oh, he listens to the podcast. Really found its voice in the 46th episode. <laughs> oh, that's really sweet. That like touched me. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. <laughs> that I'm surprised this is working. Like, this. yeah, yeah, I know, right? No. That's Again, sweet. I hope Paul Rudd got a shoe with them. <laughs> no, I just want to see him in frame with them. So uh, he's yeah. Like moving on. He's ascending. not going to be haunting. He's yeah. can finally move on. He's ascending. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, that's it's called Ghostbusters Afterlife, so I guess he's going to the afterlife. That's sweet. It's a very touching send-off to Harold Ramis as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what it is. For oh. Harold? Yeah, that's really nice. Wow, the movie just ends where it needs to. Oh, back in New York. Never mind. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay, we got the Ghostbusters music playing. And the Ecto. Zoom in on the Ecto. Oh, is so it? they're reclaiming it. Oh, is that oh like the Ecto's going back to New York. That's okay. their little thing. It's yeah, Okay, cool. I think there's a, a post credit scene. But it was... Uh, they only had like two hours With to Sigourney shoot. Weaver, shit! Oh! Oh, they're doing the card thing! Yeah, nice! Yeah, yeah. What? Shit! Nice! They got her! For like a nice little scene. Wait, are they together? Are they like married or something? I'm assuming. I guys. <laughs> He's getting zapped now? Yeah. Woo! This is a good post credit scene. Yeah. It's cute. So he lives in New York still. Yeah. I think there's one more. Oh. What is that? It's a souvenir from the world's fair in Flushing Meadow in 1964. Is this a deleted scene? Yeah, it must be. I shouldn't take it. We might not be coming back. Take it anyway. Aww. No. Egon was brains. Ray was the heart. Who are you? They underused me. Yeah, I know. I don't do it for me. Oh, did he like remodel the space? He's still covering the red. Oh, that's very sweet. <laughs> He's supporting Ray's occult. Yeah. Okay. Is he like gonna boot up Ghostbusters again? Is I guess so. Oh, is it gonna light up? Nice. Okay. Well, we finished the Ghostbusters trilogy. Hope you guys liked it. Thanks for watching and stay nice, dudes. <laughs> so Grasshopper walks into a bar and the bartender's like, we have a drink named after you. And the grasshopper's like, you have a drink named Steve?